Thank you for watching Deeper Than Red, Black History Animated. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, share, and comment. Enjoy the episode. 15-year-old Louis Latimer stood in the long line of men in front of the shipyard. The United States was in the midst of the Civil War and Lewis wanted to enroll in the Navy. Even though the required age was 18, 15-year-old Lewis lied about his age to enroll. His father had recently disappeared, fearing that slave catchers would catch him and harm him and his family. Now young Lewis had to support his mother and siblings. Lewis lied about his age so he could earn money as a soldier. During his time in the Navy, Lewis taught himself technical drawing, which would be pivotal for his future career with inventions and U.S. patents. Lewis served in the Navy until the end of the Civil War. Once the Civil War ended, there were many scientific advances. All over the country, inventors raced to patent their inventions before another inventor got there first. Lewis soon became head drafter for patent drawings at the Boston Patent Law Firm. To understand the importance of Lewis's job, you need to remember two things. First, if anyone wants to make money from their invention, they must patent their invention with the U.S. government. Once the inventor has the patent, anyone who wants to use their invention would need to pay them money. If your invention was popular, just imagine how much money you would make. Second, in order to apply for a patent, the inventor would need to have intricate drawings that explain the invention clearly. If the drawings aren't clear, the patent application would be rejected. Lewis was so good at patent drawings that people all over the United States sought his expertise. One day, a teacher for the deaf asked if Lewis could create patent drawings for a device he had invented. The instructor needed the drawings as soon as possible because other inventors were submitting patent applications for similar devices. The teacher was Alexander Graham Bell and the device was the telephone. Lewis worked day and night to complete the drawings. With Lewis's help, Alexander won the patent rights to the telephone hours before another application was made for a similar device. A few years later, Lewis began working as an assistant manager and head drafter for the U.S. Lighting Company. The company was owned by Harem Maxim, the chief competitor of the light bulb inventor, Thomas Edison. Even though Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, the bulb only lasted a few days. The light bulb would get so hot that the electricity would quickly burn out. This made the invention inconvenient and impractical for many people to use. Lewis set about working to improve the short-lived light bulb. Soon, he had a breakthrough. Lewis created a cardboard casing that would keep the bulb from getting too hot and give the bulb a much longer life. Lewis had accomplished what Thomas could not. Because of Lewis's innovation, light bulbs were now more efficient and cheaper. As the United States lit up with electrical lighting, Lewis's expertise was again widely sought after. Lewis helped install the first electrical plants in Philadelphia, New York City, and Montreal. He also oversaw the installation of lighting in the railroad stations, government buildings, and major thoroughfares in Canada, New England, and London. Thomas, now busy with the Edison Electric Light Company, wanted Lewis to join his team of talented innovators. Lewis joined Thomas in 1884 as the chief drafter and patent specialist in the company's legal department. Lewis became the only black member of the Edison Pioneers, a small group of men who worked with Thomas in the early years of the light bulb. Lewis never stopped inventing. 
1894, he created the safety elevator, which was a huge improvement for existing elevators. He invented a method for making rooms more hygienic and climate controlled. Lewis's accomplishments cannot be overstated. Born from parents who were previously enslaved, spending his teenage years fighting in the Civil War, and then persevering in a post-slavery United States, Lewis contributed to two of the world's most important inventions, the telephone and the light bulb. Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.